Yeah, um, I think actually our current head coach, um, Andrea Fuentes, she's an Olympian from Spain, um, medalist and one of the best, most famous, well-known artistic swimmers um, in the world. Um, I grew up idolizing her and looking up to her. And then um, I think in fall of 2018, um, she was announced that she was going to be our new head coach. And, um, you know, it's kind of like, when you have an idol for so long and then you meet them and they exceed your expectations of just, you know, not just like a coach and the athlete, but an all around human being, um, is just super special. And she's changed kind of like the, everything in our organization and our, in our sport and with our national team and the way things are going. And especially through this pandemic, she, she really lives with such an, you know, she's, she's up for any challenge and everything that's been thrown our way through this entire year or past two years. Um, you know, she, she grabs it and she, she runs with it and she goes, all right, she's on to the next thing. You know, she never gets stuck in it. And she's led by example for our whole entire team. Um, and for me as an athlete and just kind of helped me to continue on through this next phase or this next quad I meant, um, of the Olympics and, and to kind of help me to continue growing as an athlete, but also, um, learn how to, how to lead my team, um, as well. And it's been an amazing experience and, and she's definitely helped myself and my entire team through, through this past year, especially. Um, that was a super good answer. I wish I didn't have to follow it. <laughs> I, my answer is a little different. I don't know if I have one idol that I've, that I've really looked up to. Um, but I guess, I guess I should explain it differently. I, in the past, leading up to, I guess, just before the pandemic, did a lot of training by myself. Um, it, tennis is a little bit hard in that, like, you know, affording to travel and also affording to have a coach consistently. It's not that easy unless you're at like the top of the ranks. And leading up to um, this past year, I could only really afford to travel. So I kind of learned from a bunch of different people on the tour. I learned from different coaches on the tour. And those were people I kind of idolized before. And I just kind of soaked up everything I could learn like a sponge. But um, right before the pandemic happened, I ended up moving to Orlando. This is where the USTA's main training campus is. They call it the national campus. And this is the first time in my career that I've been able to be exposed to like high level coaching. Um, so I've really just idolized all the different professionals I've gotten to work with to have my own strength and conditioning coach now or my own tennis coach or um, just a lot of different high level um, coaching that's tailored for me. It was completely new to me. And again, I've just tried to soak everything up like a sponge and I've used it to try to see how good I can get. And that's been a huge motivator for me. And I'm so thankful that the pandemic actually kind of happened in a way because it's afforded me more time with these amazing people to learn as much as I could. 